Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Tarot is here with your monthly numerology and this video uh, will be for life path or character number 6. It's your forecast for August 2020. So it will be a tarot reading based on your life path or character number. So we have your genuine information here, some oracle cards to clarify it and also your love, money and changes that are coming to you in August 2020. But before I start, the usual and quick reminder. This is still a general reading, so please treat it as such and take it as it resonates and if it resonates only. Okay, so let's see. Okay, wow. Great energy, number six. So it seems like... Some of you may be having a vacation, going somewhere, but over, um, you may be spending time with your friends and family, um, and it seems like there will be people around you who will be bringing, like, giving you the uplifting energy, the positive energy, great vibes, and uh, you will be enjoying yourself a lot in August. Um, some of you will be learning what what really is um, good for you, what is not. Like you will be figuring out some things about yourself, uh, about what's making you happy, what's not making you happy. You may be discovering new talents and abilities in yourself, and also you may be getting some um, either presents or um, unexpected money or maybe unexpected financial support from somebody but your finances are looking good some of you may get a promotion of course or a pay increase but i feel like it may be somebody will give you a present like buy you a trip somewhere or something like this and uh, be very open to the signs because in August you will be getting a lot of signs from the universes that will um, from the universe that will be serendipitous events, um, some some something else. I want one more card for you here. And you are going to have more energy for sure with this young. This is okay, yin and yang. Wow, these are two aces like the ace of cups and the ace of um wants here more energy more taking care of yourself more self-care self-love self-respect uh some time for yourself you may go um somewhere alone on your own to kind of regain your energy to to just have a good time but um if you be, will be with somebody this will be really really nice people your energy is like super calm um satisfied enjoying like in great simply great but don't forget that the the base of it all is you taking good care of yourself not putting everybody else first but you taking good care of yourself and more good vibes will be coming your way so let's see let's see more Hmm. We have for your love life, we have uh, the Six of Cups and the King of Wands. There is somebody in your life who is really interested in you romantic wise. If you are in a relationship, though, if you are in a relationship, you may have like a trip together, just spending a really good time, maybe having a holiday together. Ten of Pentacles again. Mm -hmm. so um okay for those who are in a relationship you may be spending really good time together but also questioning if it's a good thing to to maybe get married to become official uh, couple to um to go on a more serious level or there will be some financial aspects in question you will be kind of and stand still financially for those of you um like your financial situation may be affecting your love life but not not much because i'm seeing like a lot of really good 
energy vibes spending good time like enjoying it and uh, your partner are taking good, really good care of you and uh, like being a leader in creating some romantic memories um, if you are not in a relationship there may be a new relationship a new guy or a new girl somebody maybe you've met this person already and this relationships will, the relationship will be developing and growing but in August you will come to the point where you will be questioning is it again is it a good idea to get deeper is it a good like um, a good enough fit for you to consider committed relationship so there will be going deeper questions here but overall everything is really really good and positive what about your money and finances eight of cups and seven of wands i want to have one more card Mm -hmm. yeah it seems like somebody may be supporting you financially because if you're going to a holiday it may be like unpaid holiday because your own financial situation is not looking really good and you're trying to figure out what to do with it but you're not sure Mm, you have some idea what to do you have some idea what to do but there is an inner conflict you're battling it for some reason but in august you will be supported this is what i've been feeling you will be supported but okay uh so if you're living for example if you're living with your parents or there is somebody uh, most probably a strong woman or a woman with a higher position supporting you it may come to an end uh, there will be some friendship support like a friend maybe again present or giving you a trip or something like this but uh, for some of you the stable support that you have been receiving from the Empress figure it may be a man or like a parental figure or just somebody who is more stable than you are socially it may come to an end it may come to an end so you will have to reconsider the idea you are fighting you have some idea how to increase your income but you are really fighting it so you will kind of have to um to look at it again and to think about it like really really hard because um you will have to change something here with your finances wake up from something from some idea or from some inaction okay so overall changes for you number six we have the chariot and we have the five of wands so you will be yeah taking more control over your life so if you've been relying on somebody you will you will be relying more on yourself this is not something that you really like doing because you um how to say you have a tendency of being supported by other people and uh, maybe uh, the changes these changes are needed so you would um, get more responsibility and the universe will be able to give you more abundance because abundance is being given to us when we are able to to put it to the good use right but so and for this you need to be more responsible and it seems like you will be taking or getting ready to take more responsibility over your life which won't be easy for you because this is something that you are fighting this is something that you are fighting because you do not trust yourself you do not trust yourself enough it's like like what if i uh take my chances what if i trust myself and i fail but remember you really really need to figure out what you love doing who you are and what your strengths are because you do have them you obviously do have them and you will be learning something about yourself about your capabilities uh and uh, capabilities of being responsible capabilities of taking charge capabilities of uh, some in some area and you will be learning new information so this scarcity mindset with so many fives here it's in your mind it's in your hand and this is your main block but remember that if you're ready to take more responsibility life will give you more abundance as well well number six this is 
uh, has been an interesting reading. Let me know what you think about it. Hope the message finds whoever needs to hear it. And uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you are in need of a private reading, the information how to have one with me is down below in the description box. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye.